सो हेलो हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज गोइंग टू द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ द मशीन लर्निंग सीरीज सो वेलकम टू यू ऑल एंड टू डे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम अमेजिंग थिंग्स सो फर्स्ट थिंग सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू जस्ट पुट टू रूल्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ यू हैव एंड वॉच दैन प्लीज वॉच अ लिंक विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन गो एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो एंड देन दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द फंडामेंटल्स and there are two rules in this uh, lecture first is google the things and second that you have to ask one question at the end of the lecture uh, ask any question that you have regarding this uh, content okay any question because uh, uh, it is the only way that you will be getting the things you will be grasping the things by asking questions and if you don't have any questions then summarize it okay and i want each and every viewer you also okay so if you are watching this video and if you want that your 10 minutes 12 minutes will be uh, something fruitful then you have to ask the questions so please ask the questions uh, or uh, summarize summarize the video um, uh, in the in the comment box okay so let's go on the uh, go on the book so we are uh, doing this book and this is going to be the chapter 1 we are starting it now so what the machine learning landscape okay so so we have used ocr okay what is ocr let's talk about it so ocr is optical character recognition i hope some of you know it but uh, we are going to uh, see this thing so uh, ocr is basically uh, just google it first first thing is i am just googling it for you what is ocr ocr is actually optical character recognition what it does so let's see in the images actually uh, you you have used that uh, uh, you you have used the phone to uh, just click the picture of any document and uh, something like this you can just see this something like this ki uh, you have uh, you have uh, scan the documents and uh, then convert it into pdfs so i hope that you have done it so this is called the ocr so the ocr was full uh, ml technology and uh, then there is a spam filter in your gmail uh, there will be a spam filter a spam section will be there so, uh, sometimes sometimes uh, some important emails also go in the spam filter so people say that okay check your spam filter uh, spam um, folder okay so these two things were the first ml application that become the uh, mainstream okay so uh, like there are a lot of things like image search there uh, and product recommendation i have uh, taken the example uh, shorts shorts and reels you must have uh, watching the shorts and uh, reels uh, in the in a day okay so it is quite popular uh, you will be using instagram or facebook or youtube so there there are a lot of shorts uh, and there are a lot of videos that is recommended uh, from the youtube and that is quite similar to your interest okay so this video is recommended to you it means that you are uh, you are very good uh, in the coding or maybe you are uh, you are wanting to be uh, better at coding and uh, to learn the machine learning okay so let's start where does the machine learning start and where does it end okay so and what exactly does it mean for a machine to learn something so i want you to ask this question from yourself you know any course or any thing that you are learning that is a uh, there is a simple goal of that thing is to enhance your thinking ability so you have to think about it okay so where does the machine learning start where does it end it is basically the information question okay what exactly does it mean for a machine to learn something okay so um, it is saying that if you just downloaded a file a pdf file or uh, any um, any research paper or something anything then the, the your computer will learn it no your computer will not learn it okay so we have to train some models we have to train some models to make it learn okay so we will be seeing all these things so let's about let's see about the machine learning we will be quickly going a from it because we have discussed it before but the machine learning is science and art of programming computers so they can learn from the data okay 
there are some uh, technical uh, things also uh, like there are more general definition here and there is technical defini definition here so you can just uh, see i am just going to define it uh, for you uh, the engineer engineering oriented one a computer program is said to learn from the experience e with respect to some task t okay and the performance measure is p then its performance on t means performance on a particular task is measured by the p okay the performance is p so its performance on t is measured by p and improves the experience e okay so it is just uh, mixing the terms e t p but i am just telling you the just thing your performance based on your uh, your capability to uh, take up the things so your performance is actually about how much you are learning okay and how so that will enhance your experience so that is the very simple thing i have you got i think you have got it okay fine so your spam filter we have taken the example so there is one thing that is uh, spam and there is ham a spam means that uh, uh, email that is a spams that are uh, from lottery you have uh, win uh, one crore rupees of course so <laughs> they are uh, of course uh, a spam emails and ham emails is actually that are regular emails okay you can just uh, see here non spam email also called ham so the examples of the system uses to learn is called the training set okay so what is training set so we we want our uh, uh, we want a model or a chatbot to be trained on our company data okay so there are come which type of data is there there is text data like uh, uh, how many days uh, people are coming employees are coming uh, there are videos there are videos also audio is also there so they all are data if you are using that data for the training a model then that is called the training set i hope you got it okay and when a machine learns the learn the thing from the data from the training set if we have trained a machine from that data and it is making the predictions or it is doing something prediction classification and other things then that is called model i hope you got this things training set model okay so uh, just see that what is what is the use of machine learning why you use it so we will be taking it more technically yesterday uh, like in the before lectures uh, we have seen it uh, in a very abstract terms but now we will be seeing in technical terms first you can see that uh, for you credit card free and amazing these are the lines that are you know that are the that can be a spam okay that if these terms are there in the uh, in the email then that can be uh, a spam but but you just think that uh, problem is that that how many words you will put they they can change they can change uh, they can change this thing for you uh, like this just think for you something like this or maybe for you something like this so if you hard coded the things so it will be a problem for you and uh, just see uh, like they they can they can do uh, another iterations they can do anything about this thing so that is called the rule based system that you have the some list of words and that will actually match that if this uh, these words are in a email then that is the spam so that is actually a uh, pretty hard to maintain okay so in contrast machine learning automatically learns words and phrases are uh, which are spam okay so it is it is quite easier and quite uh, shorter and it is more accurate machine learning uh, is uh, that much efficient so we will we will be making it okay so i hope that you got uh, uh, got something so you can just have an example uh, we can we have just example that what if spammers notice that all the emails containing for you are blocked then then they might start writing you for you instead i have given the example 
so this is uh, going to be this rule based system is not going to be too far and it is not that much efficient so we will be using machine learning for that so these are the things like uh, we uh, study the problem train the machine learning model then there is a solution we will be inspecting the solution that it is giving the correct solution or not then there will be better understanding and then we will again repeat the problem okay so we will be training this model from lots of data of course okay so uh, like uh, to summarize machine learning is great for great for the long list of rules where you don't actually you don't have to define the rules in the machine learning machine learning will find the rules by itself and there are complex problem they will eventually do the complex problem very easily and they can also train on the large amount of data if you have 1000 2000 uh, 2000 uh, uh, you can say uh, rows of the rows and column in excel sheet then how you will be able to interpret so it is actually done by the machine learning i hope that you have got it then there are uh, some uh, simple examples of machine learning uh, like uh, analyzing the images of products okay so i am going to uh, tell some um, you can say uh, some uh, words uh, that are maybe that will be some uh, uh, unfamiliar but uh, but we will be seeing that and i want you to listen it because you will have a first time interaction with the uh, things okay analyzing image of the products uh, on a production line so there is a production line and analyzing the image of the product and classifying them is actually the image classification thing so it is done by the cnn that is uh, CNN is used for the image classification. I hope that you have got it. Then there is a detecting tumors in the brain scan. Just think how much uh, beneficial it is. So it is also done by the CNN and transformers. Okay. Automatically classifying new articles. So uh, you can classify the new articles um, by the NLP, natural language processing. And it is done by the RNN, CNN. Okay. Automatically flag offensive comments in the discussion forum in the YouTube. You are watching in the YouTube. Um, yeah, most of the offensive uh, comments are uh, just flagged offensive and they just uh, get removed. Okay. So summarizing long documents automatically. Now you have uh, uh, you have tools, AI tools that uh, summarize your whole document, your question, uh, your uh, you can say notes, a 10 page notes, 20 page notes. Just summarize it into the one page and just read it and go for big jump okay so uh, actually we are we are also doing it so now uh, creating a chatbot or a personal assistant like google siri something like that okay they have the natural language understanding nlu world okay and there is for for a for a casting of your company's revenue next year then there is a app react voice commands voice command is also there then there is credit card uh, credit card fraud detection uh, we will also make a um, the project on it and then segmenting clients based on the purchases something like that we will be using the k-means and uh, re representing a high dimensional data set so these are the some examples like building a, an intelligent bot for a game like AlphaGo is the beat the world champion at the game of go okay so it was actually built by the um, reinforcement learning and reinforcement learning is a part of machine learning so i am just uh, are going to uh, tell you that uh, there are uh, there are some types of machine learning uh, based on the based on different uh, parameters like how they are supervised during training so on the supervision thing they are uh, they, they are there is a supervised unsupervised semi supervised self supervised and blah blah but we'll be just seeing that supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning okay what is supervised learning what do you think supervised means you have a supervision that okay uh, this is the thing this is the label and you just take it up so you can see that that uh, we have a label that just think that we have given emails to a machine that this email is a spam this email is ham ham means uh, that is not a spam okay so we have just given the uh, thing and after that machine will learn that this is the spam and this is ham and they, that will make a pattern in itself so that is called the supervised learning okay so 
and you can just also uh, i am just giving another example that we will giving a example of a dog picture and there is a cat picture is there and then we just put it into the machine and make a model and training it so it is basically a supervised learning where you have labels i so just uh, just see this thing labels labels are important for the uh, for this uh, supervised learning now now we will see the unsupervised what is the unsupervised it is unlabeled okay that you have just given the picture of dogs and cats or uh, you have just given the lot of emails to the machine and you are trying to predict something like any pattern you are finding or you there is a very you know like there is a very good uh, example here like if you have a blog if you are writing a blog and you have a blog visitors so if you have a data of that blog visitors you can just put in the clustering algorithm so don't focus much on the clustering algorithm you will be seeing this thing clustering means we have just to make a cluster a group of different uh, things so actually it will detect the similar visitors and it will try to detect the similar visitors like maybe uh, 40 percent of your visitors are teenagers 40 percent of visitors are teenagers who love comic books okay or maybe 20 percent of the adults who enjoy sci-fi or romantic movie, uh, romantic uh, um, blogs okay so you can just classify your customer base so that is also useful okay now uh, we will be seeing the uh, we will be seeing reinforcement reinforcement is actually this thing you have an agent who who knows nothing first thing and they have the example uh, that you have to choose first fire or water so if it will go towards what uh, fire then uh, it will reduce the point and it will get punished okay there is a penalty word penalty and reward word is there for it and next time next time it will take uh, the water then it will get a reward and that is called the reinforcement learning in the brief okay so i hope you got it from uh, from uh, from tomorrow like on the next lecture we will be seeing the batch learning online learning and we'll be seeing all these things now if you have any doubt please write in the comments i want every one of you to write the comment uh, that what you what you learned from this any question you have please write it so that we will have an interactive learning together on the youtube itself so thank you so much guys i hope you like this video meet you in the next video